Okay, guys, we just had to stop right here. We possibly have just found the best find we've ever found on this beach. I haven't picked it up yet, but I can tell you right now, it looks unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm gonna walk up to it now, it's right there. And we're gonna go up to it. The boys are here. We're gonna take a look. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It is January 1st, 2022. Brand new year, brand new rock hunting season. Today it is like plus 10 in Nova Scotia degrees Celsius. So we are on our first rock hunt of the year. Actually, this is our first rock hunt in months, probably like four months. And we're happy to be out. It's been a long time. So we came to Ross Creek. I gave the boys a choice of which beach to come to. They wanted to come to Ross Creek, look for some cycads and some agates. So that's what we're gonna do today. We are expecting to find some good stuff because this beach isn't really hugely picked over and in the winter time it, it gets low action. So we're pretty much guaranteed to find some good stuff today. So we'll keep you guys updated and we'll film it if we find it. Thanks for coming along. Travis found a cool little sea maggot. Some chalcedony on the bottom there. That's a cool one. That one will tumble up pretty nice. Did you find something? Just a nice banding. Oh, nice cycad. Yeah. With some nice banding. Really nice. Nice cycad with some agatized pockets. Cool. Here's a really nice big jasper agate. Some really good yellows and reds in that one. And it's got some quartz running through. A little banding in there, but serious I don't think I'll keep this one but it's a big one I've never found one this big in a while here's a nice full round cycad some nice opal in there look at that betroidal opal formation there Nice little tumbler. It's got some really nice red jasper color, some nice agates in it. It'll be a nice little tumbler. On this full round little cycad. Not much agate detail in it, but still cool to find a full round. Nice little piece of jasper here with some chalcedony and some orange band around there. That's kind of unique. A uh, nice little tumbler size. It's got this little orange chalcedony all around it. It's pretty cool. That'll be cool to tumble up. I found another full round limb cast here. This one terminates, uh, but it's got a little bit of an agate in it. And I found this pretty neat zeolite nodule. Uh, this is an intact nodule. It's just all this, all the basalt skin's gone, but it's it's an intact nodule, so that's pretty cool. And then we have here. I'm gonna get this one wet, but this is a jasper. But it's a really nice one, yellow and red. It's got some really cool patterns in there. It's a real neat one. Let 
Look at these little eye agates here. That's pretty cool. Just found this nice, large, full round psychic. That's about six inches across. Probably four inches that way. Pretty nice one. It's got a nice agate in the middle of it. Actually, that's not a psychic, that's a conifer. You can tell by the skin on the outside. Pretty cool. So here's where the cycads are coming from. They're coming from this bed right here. So these basalts are Triassic. They're about 200 million years ago. They're part of the camp eruption that happened while Pangaea was breaking apart. And then shortly after that, within 10 million years, you had these limestones, these shallow seas fill in, low depressions in the basalt and you had limestone accumulate and cover plant life and things like that and you had these fossil beds they're just lying on top of the, the basalts so as this freezes and thaws it erodes away and we get all these conifers on the beach here you can see they're breaking up on the beach and then they just wash down with the tide and get distributed out along the beach here so this is one of the low depressions where limestone accumulated in between the basalt. So there's basalt there and then basalt here. And then you had this depression where you had limestone accumulating. Pretty cool. Pretty cool geology here at Ross Creek Beach. Okay guys, we just had to stop right here. We possibly have just found the best find we've ever found on this beach. I haven't picked it up yet, but I can tell you right now, it looks unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm gonna walk up to it now, it's right there. And we're gonna go up to it. The boys are here. We're gonna take a look. Let's just look at the outside of this first. It's a conifer tree. It's a, it's a, it's a limb cast, and oh my gosh. Oh my god, oh my god, look at this, oh my goodness, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys this is like, this is unbelievable, that is unbelievable. That is a full round, it's a full round limb cast cycad core. That's the core. Look at the amethyst. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful piece we have ever found here. Unreal. Unreal. Oh my gosh. I can't stop staring at it. It's just, oh my God. Oh my, you guys, look at this. This is crazy. Look at this. Oh my God. Is that so fun? This is like the stuff you used to find here 20, 30 years ago. This is like, there hasn't been any of this for a long time. I I haven't seen any anything like this here in so long. Oh my gosh, that is just gorgeous. It's oh. It's, it's, oh my gosh. I wouldn't even do anything with that. That would just be a piece, just a sit. Like, that's just gorgeous. You wouldn't sell it? No, goodness no. Anyway, uh, find of the day. Absolutely find of the day. Never, that's not even going to be a, a question of what find of the day is. That's it right there. No question. Oh my gosh. What about, my what about this? <laughs> I'm doing good. Nolan, what did you describe this as? If Jesus formed into a rock, that would be that would be Jesus. This is Jesus in a rock. <laughs> it's Jesus. <laughs> I agree totally. That is Jesus in a rock. <laughs> so every once in a while you'll find these ones that are still attached to the limestone. 
and this here's one see it's a full round got a center it's not really agatized it looks more just maybe opal other side is looking like that it's kind of quartzy but that's kind of that's the cool kind of intact formation you can get with these side heads here's another full round bigger piece probably leave that one it's interesting every time we come here more of the beach is exposed and then more of the beach is covered up so down there you used to have limestone exposed the bedrock you see side cat trees coming out of them i think i've showed them in previous videos this year well so far this year and it's early but they're covered up yeah, you don't see them but up here some of the limestone bed is now coming out which revealing new cycads there's a giant one right there there's a lion there that's a big one and you see all these you can see there's a, tr there's a tree lying there Another one lying right there. So it's it's always different. The beach is always looking different every time you come, and that's thanks to the tides. And it uh, it replenishes all of our rocks, brings in new ones, exposes new ones, and it's it's why we always really never get skunked. Never get skunked really. We're always finding pretty good stuff. It's all thanks to the Nova Scotia tides and the awesome geology we have here. Here's a big, here's a big limb cast tree, and here's the a giant core. This is quartz running all the way through it. Probably meeting up with it right here. I bet you if we dug here, we'd find that. I just dug away from it a little bit there, and you can see the, right there, little hole where the core goes in. So this tree was lying down like this, and the limb cast formed as it was lying down there. Nice tube of agate and quartz through the middle of it. I dare say that awesome piece of amethyst cycad we found was the core similar to that core right there was the core of a really large tree the trees seem really large in this bed here that's been freshly uncovered and i'm betting that that's where that core came from one of these because this was typically the area where you found all the amethyst cores 20 30 years ago and i believe that came from one of them so we were very fortunate to get here early enough like I said first of January 2022 very lucky enough to come find that piece that is probably going to be our find of the year I can't see us finding anything better than that that's a spectacular find first day of the year unbelievable very fortunate here's another big one let's give you a scale that's how big they are over here these ones are huge and there's the core running through it kind of looks churdy. But it's got some druziness going on. You can't see it, but there's some druze going on in there. But uh, that piece, quite big. No one's hauling that out of here. Found this seam, agate, or chalcedony, or something. It's pretty unique looking. I'm just gonna walk up the river here, back to the car. It's getting to the end of the trip. Really glad we came on this trip, found some amazing finds today. It was a last minute trip. We just came out because the weather was so nice and it just made sense because lots of things melting off the bank, freeze thaw situation and 
just the beach was plentiful today. Really great to be back out on the beach. Boys had a great time. I had a great time. Can't ask for anything more than that. And with that, this comes the end of the video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like our content. More to come in 2022. Some big announcements coming in 2022 for the channel. Hopefully it's a great year and a better year for all of us. I know it's been challenging the last couple of years and it can only get better from here, right? Anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. As always, have a great week. We'll catch you in the next one.